First, sift all-purpose flour into a large bowl. Then, add your nutmeg and salt. These pancakes are very rich in nutmeg. This is my preference, but feel free to reduce or increase this measurement as you see fit. Whisk to combine. In a large bowl, add the eggs, melted butter, water, and sugar. Then, whisk together to create a homogeneous mixture. As always, the amount of sugar is preferential. Now, add your flour mixture to these ingredients. Whisk until almost completely homogeneous. There's no need to mix it in completely because we are now adding our 14 ounces of evaporated milk. Do this in rounds so that the batter can absorb the milk properly. Once all of your milk is mixed in, your batter should be pretty drippy. Don't add any flour because it's perfect. Time to make pancakes. Turn to burn on medium-low heat. After putting your pan on, pour about a tablespoon of any oil onto the pan. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. After a few seconds, pick up and tilt the pan so that the oil spreads around. After waiting about a minute, use some kind of measuring cup or ladle to scoop some of the batter onto the pan. Tilt the pan again so that the batter spreads out. Wait until the pancake starts to look less liquid. When this happens, it's time to flip. Let's try again. Pretty decent. Once you've flipped it over and the other side is cooked, it's time to roll. Fold the pancake on top of itself and press down to ensure that it won't unravel. Once it's done, put it on a plate and continue. So, I'm just going to keep flipping these pancakes until there's no batter left. 